Kevin from MechanicalAdvantage.com. I received a question on one of the previous videos that I did about adding a hole to the face of a cylinder. And the question was, how would you add a hole that wasn't directly, so if we had a center line that passes through this part, how would we add a hole that was offset from the center line a little bit? And so I thought I would do a video to show you how you can do that. In order to do this, we're going to have to create a sketch first and Fusion 360 doesn't allow you to directly sketch on the cylindrical face. So first we're going to have to create a construction plane and I use the tangent plane. Now I've already created that, so I'm just going to go to the construction geometry and I'm going to turn that on. And now you can see, when we look at this from a top view, that we have a plane that's tangent to the outside face of the circle and I can use that for my sketch. There are two ways we can add this hole. We can do it as a sketch point or we can draw a circle that we want to extrude. I'll do it both ways and the first method I'm going to use is the sketch point. So I can either create a sketch and then say point or I can just go right to the point command. It'll ask me what plane I want to add that point to and then I can choose where I want my point. I'll come back and add a dimension to where that point is actually going to be. Now I'm going to project some geometry. So from the sketch menu, I'm going to go project and include, and I want to project this bottom edge, and I'm also going to project in the origin point. And we'll go ahead and say OK. And now we can do a sketch dimension, D on our keyboard if we want to do it that way. And I'm going to say from that point to that point, let's make that 1.5. And then let's do 4.75 for the vertical dimension. And now we have our point located. We can come back and change in these dimensions that we want to. And the sketch point will update. I'm going to change that back to 1.5. And we'll stop the sketch. Now with that point located there, we can go to the create and we can say hole or H on our keyboard, find that hole point, change the size of that hole, change the depth if we want to go through all or what we want to do. In this case, I'll do through all, click OK, and now you can see we have a hole that's offset from the center line that goes through the part. If we want to sketch this hole, uh, pretty much the same process, but we're just going to say, I'm going to turn my construction plane back on. We're going to say sketch, and I'm going to say circle, center point circle, click on that face, again come and draw out your circle. We can dimension it however large we want that to be. Use our dimension to locate it. We could add a horizontal dimension as well, just like we did in the last uh, hole creation. I'm going to stop it, and now we can use the extrude command. So create and extrude, grab that face, drag it through, how, however far we want to go. Again, let's go all the way through, click OK. And now if we look, we have another hole that is uh, perpendicular to the front face and offset from the center line. So I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, please let me know, and uh, we'll see if we can make a video for that.